I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Hey y'all, I am going to start on my onion strings. The first part of it is slicing up my onions uh, into paper thin uh, rings. And then I'm going to pour buttermilk over them and let them set. Um, you can let them sit for 30 minutes or longer. It doesn't really matter how long you let them sit. We're going to be letting them sit for longer than 30 minutes because we're in the process of doing multiple things right now. So I just wanted to get them uh, started soaking. So I've got my mandolin set to almost the smallest it could go. I don't want to go too all the way to the end because it'll be really thin then. So what is the purpose of the buttermilk? Is it to tenderize it? Yeah. Really? And it okay. takes it takes the pungency out of it too. Oh wow, really? You can see these are much thinner. I lowered the the height of the cutting blade. So you let them sit for 30 minutes in the at, buttermilk. At least 30 then, minutes. Then yeah. you take them and you dip them in your special flour mixture. And Which then, has, that flour has cayenne pepper in it. You would think it would make it a little bit hot, but it doesn't. It just gives it a little extra flavor. Yeah, I'm all about flavor. By the way, these are Vidalias, and also we are growing Vidalias in our garden, and I picked one up this morning because it was uprooted, and they are about this big now. All right, these are these are ready now. I'm going to pour the buttermilk over them and let them sit. Ooh, yeah. Woo! I know. <laughs> I'm crying too. Woo! All right. So I'm just going to stir these around in that buttermilk and make sure they're all coated. And I'm just going to put these to the side and let them sit. So we will be back shortly to show you the rest of the steps to um, next, flouring these and then frying them up. Next time we won't be crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it'll take that pungency out of Woo! it. The buttermilk will. Goodness. All right, we'll see you hey, So I am fixing to dredge my onion straws. Um, and I'm going to just put them in this pan and then we will take them to the stove to fry them. But right now I'm going to mix up my flour and my seasonings to dredge them in. So I'm going to just take them right out of the buttermilk and put them into this flour mixture. I'm going to just whisk this together so that everything gets incorporated together. Okay. All right. You get messy doing this. To do it proper, it takes you a little bit of time because it makes a lot. Shake off the flour as much as you can.
All right, I'm done. Um, so follow me to the stove and um, we'll show you how we're frying them. All right, y'all, I am going to start frying up these onion strings in batches. They only take just a couple minutes to get done. Alright, I'm going to let these cook for a couple minutes and check them. I'm going to stir them around so they don't stick together too bad. As you can see they're coming to the top and they're getting brown just keep stirring them so that they don't stick together too badly I will take them up when they're golden brown And I got a pan here with a um, paper towel in it to put them in. just about ready all right they're all floating to the top right now and they're they're golden brown so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking them up you know they can go real fast to turn to be too dark if you're not careful going to put these in the oven and keep them warm until we're ready to eat. We'll see you in our next video.
Kelsey. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.